all right guys how's it going Stan back with another video shout out to all my loyal subscribers that have been with the channel for a long time now I really appreciate you guys and for everyone that's never been to the channel before really had no reason to go I appreciate you for watching this video um, really keep it simple cut straight to the point this is a video for 2021 Yukons it should be the same for Tahoe's and it'll be the same most likely for the Escalades as well um, I work here at John Thornton GMC in Carrollton Georgia uh, thank you to the dealership for allowing me to make these videos and give some information to a question that we always had on the last generation Yukon that me and my co-worker Matthew who will be in the video in a minute we did some research on to figure out how can we answer all this the customers questions and the question being how do you make uh, the DVD screens which is now they're not DVD they're basically tablets that play uh, stream a stream how do you get those to play off of your mobile devices so your cell phone your uh, iPad your Android tablet um, and I will tell you we're gonna introduce Apple TV into the mix because that's how you're gonna make from what I know your Apple technology work on this platform like I said this is for 2021 and newer Yukons uh, the older Yukons 20 and back there's it's very very it's more complicated you can't get it to work but it also takes you to do some work to some of your devices depending on what it is but with these it's a little bit more simplified Apple users you will have to as like I said as far as I know you will have to use Apple TV to make it work Android users you're in good luck uh, Matthew's gonna show you that on how to do that but enough of me talking uh, if you enjoy this video make sure you subscribe give this video a thumbs up that helps me uh, helps the uh, video get exposure and help our dealership out as well we'll love to get you on one of these we got this beautiful satin steel one that we're gonna use so uh, let's get into the video Alright guys, so like I said, I got Matthew here. He's been in a few of my videos. Y'all probably haven't seen him because he doesn't show his face, but he's going to do the Android part for me. The Android part is actually very, very easy, and it's actually easier than you, it seems because it's that easy, so don't overthink it. So uh, Matthew's going to get in that. He's going to get in the Yukon, and we'll explain that. Alright, so like I said, Matthew's in it. He is going to turn the screen on, which you just double tap it. Boom. Just like that. Comes on, very seamless. Like I said, for Android, it's called Miracast. So it would be that button there, but you have to download the Miracast app on the Android or Google Play Store. Is it still the Google Play Store? I don't know. It's Google Play Store, I believe, but uh, just come in here, come up to the top, type in Miracast so it's the first one that pops up miracast there mm -hmm. of course it'll say install for you since i already have it installed it's ready to go yeah so he's already got it installed on his phone we just want to make sure that you know you got to download the app and then he's going to go to the app all right so you come up to the screen hit miracast what it says is to select the rear seat from your device so you come in here go to connect and then it's going to search rear seat go ahead and hit it press ok this is just accepting your connection so you gotta let these things load don't think it's not working boom bam his phone screen is on the screen and then of course if I turn this off turn it sideways 
which it may not work on this app, but <laughs> let's go to something that it does. It's a little trial and error involved, but like I said, Android is very simple. All right. Go, go to, go to a, a Super Stan video. Super Stan. And like I said, everything he's doing on his phone is popping up on the screen. Why right. not Escalate video? Man. Man. All right. Of course, you got to watch the ads. Make sure you watch the ads, guys. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to right now, but... <laughs> We're going to skip it for you guys. <laughs> All right. Boom. Bam. So, and at this point, you can just put your phone down. You can touch the screen. You can pause it. You can interact with the screen from this point forward. You can come back, look at the page, scroll Holy. down. I mean... It's he, basically just like a tablet, but it's running off of his phone instead of its own operating system yeah and that's it, it's very friendly of course it's not as fast as your phone but i mean this is great it's and easy it's to use seamless uh no cords involved in this i have to admit me and matthew go back and forth but the android uh setup is pretty pretty slick so uh yeah. you know of course i'm always team android so i'm gonna say it so <laughs> all right so he's gonna help me fin film the apple part like I said, the Apple part is not as easy as this. Um, once you finally get it working, it's good. But there are cords involved, Apple TV, all that good stuff. Come get an Escalade too. Look at that thing. <laughs> it's gonna have the same entertainment system. Yep, yep. So. All right, Super Stan's gotta get all his connections together. Put me on the spot on my own video. Man, I thought he was prepared. So like I said, for Apple users, I got a, a 10 plus. Uh, whatever if you got 11 pro or whatever it's all the same uh, as far as the phone is concerned it'll work with pretty much all the ones that are on the newest operating system so if you got one that you haven't updated in two years it's probably not going to work uh, keep in mind i didn't mention this before everything me and matthew are telling you these vehicles are like a month old so general motors might come out with updates the phone companies might come out with updates that change this video a little bit so keep this in mind uh, you might watch this video a year from two for now and it might not be a hundred percent the same so just keep that in mind uh that this this is basically the first time that anyone's really doing this so like i said you got to have an apple tv i don't know if it matters which one you have i highly doubt it but i have the apple tv you got to have the hdmi cord and you got to have the power outlet now luckily these you, vehicles you do have the hdmi cord yeah. slot so don't forget about that so these cars all of them are equipped as far at least as far as we know with the entertainment system you'll have the hdmi port you got usb-c and you got a power outlet back here so you have everything to make the apple tv run you don't need to do anything you don't need to install anything in the vehicle so the next thing is making it work so like i said you got to have it installed it'll probably i forgot that we haven't done this we haven't hooked this up to wi-fi so the other good thing that's kind of cool about this is you can run it off the Wi-Fi that's in the vehicle. So wherever Wi-Fi is in the vehicle via your OnStar, you'll be able to use this Apple TV 100% going down the road. It's Apple TV exclusively if you want to. So I've got it plugged into HDMI 1. So you do the same thing that Matthew did with the Android and it's plugged in. All right, so me and Matthew have some technical difficulties. So back, however man. I had to edit this, it might not make sense. We back. But we gotta figure it out. First things first with these new Yukon. <laughs> you gotta make sure the power is on back here. You see that little green light? You'll see it when you have one. It's a little plug. <laughs> you gotta make sure the power is on in the back of these things. Otherwise, none of this will work. So uh obviously, like I said, you gotta have power. You gotta have an Apple TV. So what I'm gonna do. Is not that. So I've got the Apple TV plugged in down here, like I said, with uh, HDMI 1. Let me show them real quick. So you got your HDMI ports down here. HDMI 1 is where I'm at. So I'm going to go to the screen here. Once it recognizes the HDMI con connection, uh, HDMI 1 will have this come on now, purple bar that's at the top. That lets you know that one's connected. Even if you had someone in 1 and 2, it will light up purple as well. So you can use either one, but we're running HDMI 1. Apple TV, uh, if you know what Apple TV is, you'll uh, already have it up and running. Uh, however, 
you want to have it and you have to connect it to the vehicle's Wi-Fi like I said or it has to be connected to some type of Wi-Fi for it to work 100%. Whether it's your phone hotspot or what? Yes. Now, the other, one thing I do recommend, and we've been telling customers this, if you're going to use an Apple TV, set it up at home first. Even if you're not going to use it at home, even if you're, not, you're only going to use it in the vehicle or when you travel or whatever, set it up at home. Go ahead and get the setup done. Because trying to do it here will probably be a little bit more difficult. And if you're an Apple user, you know it'll share stuff with the phone, so that'll make it faster. So then you're going to go to your phone. Oh, not camera. I'm messed up now. You're going to go to screen mirror. So, like I was saying, you got to connect it to a Wi-Fi. We're going to keep it simple. Most people use it like this. For this one, it's my GMC BF or well, I don't know who named this, but yours will be different. So this is the Wi-Fi for the vehicle. This is the one that my phone's already connected to. So I'm going to go ahead and connect the Apple TV. I'm doing this with the Apple TV remote and the Apple TV itself. I'm not using anything else. So right now, it is playing Apple TV on the screen by, like I said, press, pressing the HDMI 1 button. And it really doesn't matter if you guys know what the password is because whoever buys this thing is going to change it anyway. All right, so now my Apple TV has changed to the 100% Apple TV because I connected it to Wi-Fi. So let's just say we want to watch just Apple TV, whatever. I like YouTube. Uh, obviously, I'm on YouTube right now. I pick my own channel to watch, and we'll just go to my channel just like Matthew did. Make sure you watch the ads. Oh, no, it's not going to let me do that. And whatever, whatever you want to watch, it'll play. So let's watch something that's not going to be copyright too much. Let, you know what? Let's watch Formula One. It's pretty fair. Got the ads playing. It's playing in the, probably the highest resolution this screen can play. I don't know if it's just 1080p or if they made it 4K capable. I have a 4K Apple TV, so it'll play all the way up to full 4K. So only question is, what are these screens playing? It looks at least 1080. If not, it's probably pretty close to 4K. So this is the YouTube video that uh, Formula One has for the recent race they had. So that's pretty simple. We'll get out of that. And then you'll go to your phone. You'll swipe down. You'll go to screen mirror. Now you got to make sure your phone is on the same Wi-Fi that the Apple TV is on to pick it up but I already set my phone up to the same vehicle and then you'll go up to the screen and now my phone is mirroring via the Apple TV onto this screen and like I said it is more complicated than what Matthew had with the Androids but it does work essentially the same just through third party with the Apple TV like I said I go to my channel We'll do the same thing. We'll watch the Escalade video. And it's auto automatically plays in full screen, which is nice. Because on the phone, it'll say connect it to AirPlay. So it automatically turns AirPlay into full screen because obviously it wants you to watch in the best resolution possible. So it's still going to play the video. And now it's having a little te technical difficulty. So like Matthew told me to tell you guys, the Apple way is going to be a little bit more cumbersome. It's going to be a little bit harder to use. You got to be patient and make sure your connections are good too. Uh, that's why we recommend using whatever Wi-Fi package you can get via OnStar inside the vehicle. Obviously, that's going to give you the best connection uh, because it's right here in the vehicle and it's AT&T 4G LTE, so it's good. Um, so that's what I would recommend. Um, like I said, Whatever I want it to do, if you want to go to Netflix, I don't even know where my Netflix is. Let's just find it. You can watch Netflix on here, uh, going down the road. Uh, whatever, let's watch. Let's just watch this real quick. And boom, like I said, it automatically turns it full screen because it's playing in airplay mode. Airplay mode. So there's multiple ways 
you can make this work. I was trying to see what that just said. Now playing on your TV. Please use Netflix app on your TV. On the app. Oh, it wants me to do it on the actual Apple TV. So there are, I guess, a few restrictions to Apple TV and how it wants you to use it. But you're controlling it the same way. I actually haven't signed into it on my phone, on my Apple uh, TV. But then, of course, you can still use your phone to control the Apple TV and do whatever you want that way. So, I think I'm on HBO Max on the TV. I am. And like I said, whatever you want to watch, I don't know. That's pretty. Oh, uh, well, can't go wrong with Grease. Classic. I guess you can't go wrong with that. And it's going to go play. And it's doing its thing. You have to control the volume. Let's see. You either use your headphones that come with the vehicle. Uh, if they're ordered like that. That's totally up to how you ever build it or your dealership. Or uh, you can add Bluetooth headphones. Uh, wireless headphones would be how you do that. Or you can control the screens up front as well. Let me see that. Yes, sir. So let me get you guys up there. We're running out of time but you can control the screens with the front screen as well of course that's like the home base to everything everything's controlled up front but you can run it that way and now keep in mind you can mirror each screen off each other so whatever you need to do if you want this screen playing off one phone you can have the other screen playing off another phone or you can also have them both playing the same thing at the exact same time so, so like you just said that screen's playing it's been playing and I just turned this one on to play as well. So, like I said, you do just press the same HDMI one and it's playing on the screen as well. But I've got a lot of video content on this memory card, so we're running out of time. My boy Matthew, he's washed out right now. He's a silhouette, <laughs> but he helped me out. So I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Have a good day. Joanna was supposed to help and she's a silhouette now, but she didn't, but she's here now and I appreciate it. Thumbs up. Hope you learned something. I don't know if you did. It was kind of all over the place, but it is what it is.